And that's going to be my way to serve. You see these words on movie trailers and posters, but what do they actually mean? How accurate to history is the movie that makes a statement like this? In this video, we'll go over how Hollywood uses clever marketing tactics to get you psychologically invested to watch their newest movies. Welcome to Movie University. On this channel, we go over a plethora of topics in cinema. If you like what you see today, be sure to subscribe, rate this video, and leave a comment below. Hollywood is constantly pumping out movies based on real life events. But when they're marketed to consumers, you might see some clever wording without even realizing it. While some movies are pretty true to real life events, others will contort history to fit a narrative. There are actually four main types of marketing taglines used to sell movies based on real life. Based on a true story, based on true events, inspired by a true story, and finally, inspired by true events. Sometimes you'll see some variations in the wording, but by and large, these are the most widely used. Based on a true story is probably the most popular one you'll see. It means that while the director and scriptwriters have taken a few liberties, the movie is pretty close to what actually happened in real life. They might have modified a couple of things, filled in some conversational dialogue, but overall, the story presented in the movie is pretty close to what happened in real life. A good example of this is Ford vs. Ferrari. This isn't the first time Ford Motors has gone to war. We know how to do more than push paper. Go ahead, Carol. Go to war. Thank you, sir. A lot of the events in the movie did happen as depicted, right down to Ken Miles' door not closing at the start of the final race in the movie. We're gonna make history. After this, we have the category of inspired by a true story. This takes a few elements of a true story and will change things within the story to fit the guidelines a studio or production team wants to tell. Sometimes, events don't necessarily transfer over easily to writing a script, so scriptwriters and directors will change things to make it easier for an audience to digest what is happening on screen, such as the case with the pursuit of happiness. The movie depicts the real-life struggle of Chris Gardner and his five-year-old son. In reality, Chris Gardner's son was only two years old when the film's plot unfolded in real life. The real-life Chris Gardner was okay with this dramatic liberty taken by the filmmakers. A step down from this, you have the based on true events category. Here we see script writers string together a cohesive story out of historical events to make one cohesive story. While the movie itself may be very good, only a few elements of it are true. Names, locations, events, or people may be made up, but usually a lot of the macro story events involved actually happen. One great example of this is Patriot's Day. The Peter Berg directed film tells the story of the April 2013 terrorist bombing in Boston. While the bombing and police pursuit actually happened in real life, Mark Wahlberg's character is completely fictional. While made up, the character is a composite of numerous real life police officers who were at the bombing and took part in the pursuit of the terrorist brothers in the Boston area. The biggest offending category when it comes to getting historical facts wrong is the inspired by true events group. This kind of movie simply takes one or two big historical events and nearly everything else is created from scratch. This is the case with MGM's Wind Talkers. While the US Marine Corps did indeed have Navajo Native Americans as code talkers and the code was indeed classified, Nicolas Cage and Adam Beach's characters are made up for the film. The events that occur in the movie are real battles that happen with real Marines in the Pacific during World War II, just not with Sergeant Enders or Private Yazid. Now for a bonus. Some studios prey on our need to want to see a good movie and will stretch the truth as much as possible. Horror movies are the biggest offenders with this. Some movies distort the truth so much that studios don't even bother putting the words true on the poster because it's even a stretch for them. Case in point, The Patriot is riddled with historical inaccuracies. Mel Gibson's character is actually the merging of four different real life people. 
Some events, such as Colonel Bannister Tarlington's pursuit of Francis Marion in the swamps of South Carolina, is loosely based on real history. And while the final battle in the film combines the Battle of Cowpens and the Battle of Guilford Courthouse, most of the plot events in the film are pure fiction. Some studios don't put a tagline on the promotional poster. Instead, counting on the audiences to understand that what they're watching is a creative license of what happened and counting on you to learn the true history. Do you have any favorite historical movies? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm scared. I'm scared too. We're still in this fight! We're still in this fight! Come on! This is Movie University. Education and Cinema.